Hello, hello, hello. Today we're going to discuss developing your own training system. Now for me, this is a be all and end all of training your progress, the processes you follow and how you can start to build this for yourself. So one thing with regards to fitness, the fitness industry is it's quite young, it's quite new and therefore there's a lot of bullshit and stuff that needs to be worked on and figured out and the best way to do that is to look outside at other industries, other universal truths, parts of the universe, look at nature, and take principles from there and apply them to your training. And this will help you develop your own model. So when you're in the gym, you kind of know exactly why you're doing, what you're doing, why you're doing it, um, what you're doing it for, and the reasoning behind all of that. I'll give you an example about this. Um, what the hell I'm talking about. I'm talking about cycles. For example, you have cycles in nature. You have your women's menstrual cycle, you have the 24 day cycle, you have the economic cycles of boom and busts over 10 years and if you look at Ray, Ray Dalio's book over 100 years those larger kind of economic powers the world, the universe is cyclical and then when you apply that to training that concept, these principles that are true throughout nature, throughout other industries trying to apply that with training you can look at the work to rest ratio in terms of the amount of intensity that you can put into each set you need to then rest and recover after there's a cyclical pattern there as well as with not just within that singular training session within each set you can also look with regards to training across the weeks some weeks will be harder than others some will be easier than others. You have a deload, intensity cycles, the volume cycles. Training is cyclical. So throughout this series of videos, I'm going to be discussing different training concepts and I'm going to try and pull from other areas outside the fitness industry to relate those concepts to the gym. And it's going to be principle based. And what I mean by that is something that's true or closest to the truth that we can currently acquire so like the pinnacle of information for humans was kind of religion up to a few what well, a few hundred years ago and then it became science and that's how we got closest to the answers of truth the truth of our universe and truth is this principle what is the principle is something that's true across the board so with regards to training, for example, you have this kind of spectrum from rehab, someone who's just started getting moving, maybe coming out of pain, not the best mover, all the way up to elite performance. And it's a spectrum. And this is, um, just going to clean the lens. I don't know if I've made that worse. Pause for cleaning. Zoomed in a little bit as well. All right, yeah, back to it. So this spectrum of rehab to performance to elite performance is kind of a, a, a truth. It's a, a principle of the way humans are. Everyone's different and somewhere along that spectrum. I think I've made the lens worse. One second. <laughs> okay. There we go. Hopefully that's better see me brilliant and um, on, along that spectrum where everyone is different human beings are different principles should be able to be true or have a higher likelihood of being true for anyone that steps in front of you so you could be anyone now your gym experience your sport experience could be at the highest level or it could be absolutely zero it could be I've only ever walked that's all I've ever done I ran for the bus once and the principles that I'm going to discuss with regards to my model, 
that I encourage you to challenge and kind of take away and if you like them, build them into your training model and your training philosophy should be true across that spectrum. So this should be applicable to people who are just starting in sport or have been doing it for a long time. And this training philosophy, this model is going to be built out from every aspect of training where it comes to things like getting out of pain, developing different physical characteristics such as building muscle, building strength, building some aerobic capacity. We're going to try and cover all of those broad spectrums like principles for progression. Do we go barbell first? Do we go dumbbell first? Do we do a squat pattern first? Do we do single legs before we do both legs, like um, unilateral, then bilateral? Do we stay in the sagittal plane? Do we go in the frontal plane? Do we go in the transverse plane? These are your different movement planes, and hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll build this out as I get further into this video series. This video is kind of the introduction to the long list of videos that I'm gonna make, and I encourage you, if you wanna be a independent thinker, independent trainer, independent learner, and you wanna kind of really develop your own philosophy for training, this is the route that I encourage you to go down. It's the route I've just started going down consciously. Of course, you're always figuring out what training involves and what you're doing with your training and why. You're always doing that, if it's conscious or unconscious. But this practice, this set of videos is gonna be about being conscious about it, putting it together, writing it down, potentially making videos like I'm trying to do now. I'm figuring out my model and I'm taking you along that process with me and hopefully you'll see the value in there. And what we're gonna do to start these first set of videos are gonna be about a topic that I've dove in, dived into in quite depth, quite a good depth, um, and that's gonna be hypertrophy. So building muscle and the principles of hypertrophy training that are true across the board for most people. Um, starting with intensity, volume, these different markers, and um, how I apply those principles to training. So exciting times. Um, I hope you're gonna get some value out of this. And since, literally since I've been developing this, this training model of my own, um, it's been kind of pretty, pretty phenomenal how spectacular it's been. I obviously work, I work as a personal trainer, so it means whoever steps in front of me they will kind of sit along this spectrum somewhere and I know where I will go from them in the future and I know why. So for example, if someone comes in and they've never trained before um, and they want to get generally a bit stronger, build a bit of muscle, get a bit fitter, whatever it might be, lose a bit of weight, I'm developing and have developed this kind of regression to progression list for different movement patterns. So if you think about it as a, we've got a few different movement patterns as, as human beings, you're looking at a knee dominant movement, things like a squat, a split squat, a lunge, a list of progressions and regressions. So someone's never trained before, where would we start them? Maybe somewhere like a split squat holding a stick to support them with their foot against the wall, give them maximum stability so they can just really focus on maintaining a good position, controlling that axial skeleton so we can load the targeted muscles, which would be the knee extensors. Those, so it's a knee dominant movement and that effectively means the muscles we're looking to stimulate and challenge to the greatest degree will be those quadriceps. Then we've got things like a hinge pattern, a hip dominant movement. And this could start with anything like a rope pull through. Very easy way to figure out how to throw your bit, hips back in space, flex it against your, flex your hips against your femur and then be in a position where you can extend which are those hip muscles, those hip dominance, so your glutes, 
your butt training like that and it will go from something like a rope pull through, pull through to like a could be a kettlebell deadlift I'm not going to go in exactly into everything today but just to give you an idea of the kind of model that I've been developing and how you can build yours out effectively you will get someone and they will be somewhere on this list of regressions to progressions of exercises and from there no matter where they are at you can get them going progressing up and see them develop different physical characteristics different movement capabilities and you'll have you don't have to think on the spot you already have this model this philosophy in space in your mind so you can just kind of apply it directly wherever they're at I hope some of this made sense I know I'm rambling on but as I go through this model moving forward in the future I think you'll start to see more where I'm coming from and how you can apply this to your own training but yeah I hope you enjoy the video have a good day peace out